Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, I'm doing a quick little short video. Went to GameStop, picked up uh, some power cords for the kids for the PS4 so they could play some Crash Bandicoot and play some other games. Well, this is kind of loud right now, but they're watching TV, so I just open up packs with whatever I can. So, what we got here is uh, Lost Origin ETB and two of the Scarlet Violet booster bundles come with six packs each. This is going to be my very first time opening up, uh, ripping any kind of Scarlet Violet. So, I don't really know what to expect. I haven't really looked at that much uh, content about Scarlet Violet online, so I don't know the odds or the pull rates or anything like this, or if they even good rates. Um, for Lost Origin, I have yet to pull. Uh, I, I opened up a pretty fair amount, I would say. I wouldn't say like a dramatic amount. Like I wouldn't say people open a thousand packs, five hundred packs. No, I probably opened up maybe a hundred packs total. I mean, they, no, actually, that, that's a lie. I think I have purchased a few uh, booster boxes, and I think I want to say maybe one ETB, but a lot of loose packs. So. I would say maybe 200 packs, maybe. So let's try to get that uh, Giratina or one of the other two famous old arts, which is the Aerodactyl or the Berserker. So that being said, let's open this up and see what we can get. So further ado, turn this camera. Yeah, this is my place. Sorry. About that. Let's uh, try to get this done. You know, try to see if we can come out any luck here. Boom. There goes the box. And we don't need all this stuff here. We don't even use this. So that's just going to heck, I tell you. To heck. To heck. Boom. Boom. Trash. So here we got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, this one only has eight, huh? It doesn't have ten anymore. Wow. Well, that feels like you just get robbed. So, there's that. There's no promo card right in here. No, no promo card, nothing. Oh, well, that's, that sucks. Okay, well, here goes your code card. Oh, only eight packs. I thought it would be at least ten. Okay. So, let's see if we can uh, possibly get lucky at all. Let's see. Uh, code card is already garbage. So, let's just go right through it. Things. Like I said, I just want to try to make these videos, you know, quick and simple so you guys can, you know, go about your day and possibly, you know, give me a view. And hey, a like wouldn't hurt. And a sub would be even better. That'd be a hell of a thing. Sub to the channel. That'd be great. You know, spread the love, spread the word. <clears throat> and I just want to, you know, do what I like to do. I'm still awaiting uh, on my submission from Beckett. That I submitted last month, uh, yeah, last month, maybe a little bit over a month now. But um, they said it takes about 20 to 40 business days to get a return. So right now I'm between the 20 and 30 business day mark. So it's all about the waiting game. So all you gotta do is wait. So that's a hit card. It, it's a nice code card, so it means it's a it, it's a hit. But hit can also mean you know just a regular hollow. Let's get up close and personal with this. This is Riley, Phantom, Gligar, Skullvet, Meditate. Yeah, I think it's a too rough. Gumi, Rhyperior, and the hit is oh, a regular Chandelure. No, thank you. That was crap. All right, so 0 for 4. I still consider that a mix, not a hit. So, boom. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Let's see what we can get here. Energy. Fantina. Roserade. Komala. Snover. Litwick. Main Fu. Lit Leo. Tynamo. You got a Roserade, has the full art character card, and you got a Magnezone V. Yeah. I think that's my girl's favorite Pokemon right there, so let's put that to the side. Ah, cold card is all garbage. Wow, the hit pull rates here are really bad. Oh. Again, I purchased two of everything so I can uh, open one for the channel, open up you know, for you guys so you guys can see you know, the uh, the pull rates or see any kind of luck so you guys won't spend your money or make your own decision. But I'm not advertising anything. I'm just 
this is what I like to do. Oh, wow, yeah, only two hit packs in this whole deck. This is that was a bad opening for uh, <clears throat> Lost Origin. So, this booster bundle, everything here I purchased at GameStop, so uh, the prices may vary wherever you purchase, but this is probably what, like five dollars a pack, so it's probably accurate. Comes with six in each, so let's see what we can do here. Hopefully, our luck can change and just get something decent out of this whole. You know, day. I figure this just open up everything in one shot, you know? So. Oh, sorry. No. Okay. Here you got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Let's see if we had any luck in here. Scarlet Violet. My very first Scarlet Violet pack are open. This should say 2023, I believe. Right. 2023, right there, boom, perfect. All right, very first set, all right, very first pack, and looks, if the code cards are the same, it's probably, oh, the silver borders, silver borders are cool, let's look at these cards. You got Tropius, Pokeball, Rotom, Palpad, you got Blissey, you got Tat Tatsugiri, I've never seen or heard of you. Jack, spelled horribly. And uh, I've never heard of any of these Pokemon. Like the might, yeah. Oh, Gardevoir GX. So it was a white code card, and you got a Gardevoir GX. Okay. Definitely different, but the silver borders are definitely nice. A little change up a little bit. It's nice. It's been about, I don't know, what, like 20, I want to say 27 years? 26 years, or seven years? Something like that. So it's a good time for a change. Lebe, Growlithe was always cool. Starvia, Ralts. That's interesting. I'm very curious. Are these coming in like, you know, like Psychic, Fire? Oh, okay, no, I was gonna, I think they were coming in like the types, Grass types, Psychic types, Ward types, Darkness types. That's pretty cool. So the energy card is in the back, huh? So, it's all white code cards, so like, you get the double, I got the, those are raid. I'm sorry. The Gardevoir. My bad. Energy, Grimer, Bruxious, Cacnea. Right, well, yeah, like I said, I don't you know half these guys. Well, how, that's a Houndoom? Oh, what is this? Skelly Ridge. Uh, yeah, sure. I, I am digging the Silver Borders. I really do like it. Pretty cool. Sorry, I'm not really that talkative or anything. I did have a... Uh, late night shift as well for work so I am still, still a little a little tired but not too tired for our video and you got the Gyarados GX I mean sorry Gyarados EX and this is uh, not a rare but it's a double star rare that's new too double star rare but it's only a number 45 out of 198 so it's not like you know an alternate art or anything like that and the Gardevoir EX is also a double star uh, rare never seen a double star rare that's pretty different and I like I said I'm not really hit with uh, this set so I don't know what's the chase card or anything like that I haven't even looked at it and not looked it up anywhere online so I'm not gonna go crazy but I do want to you know, find out what it is Dondozo never heard of you so yeah you got a single star rare commons yeah but these cards do feel like a better quality like more thicker more or a sleek, I guess you could say. And like the artwork is like, more, gives like a more of a pop to it. You know, like this is not like a full, I mean, like, I wanna say, I wanna say this is like the same uh, holographic here, just dispersed and spread around the whole card. You know what I'm saying? Like all these are just like dispersed from this little area. If that makes any sense to any of you guys. Golden Power Pad, Flavay Bay, Toxel, Gradient, Prism. Uh, professor's Research. There's like so many Professor's Research as well, and like so many sets. Okay, what's that? Oh, uh oh. What if I cut a card? Uh oh, that'd be no bueno. That would definitely be no bueno.
Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just a beast. See what we can do. See what we can. Yeah, I haven't seen any other different color code cards uh, since I got this set, so I'm assuming they're all the same. Nest ball, huh? Yeah, nothing really crazy. Hey, uh, just so you guys can see, like a little point of reference of what I'm talking about is uh, like the, I guess the density of the card. Let's take an energy from Scarlet and Violet, and let's take an energy from. Sword and Shield. So I don't know if you guys can actually hear it either, but listen to this. Listen to this. See how like this one has like more glare compared to this one. This one is more like thick, so. Huh. Well, I guess the only way to understand is you have to actually like feel it for yourself, like in person, to know what I'm saying. But I think Scarlet Violet has like a better quality of cards. Oh, sorry about that, guys. There you go. So come on, man. Let's get a decent pull. Let's get a decent pull. Let's let's pull something. You know, can't we just have all these videos and not pull anything? And here you got a great Tusk EX. I have no idea who this is. That's what I'm saying. Like these Pokemon I've never heard of before. <laughs> Boom. See what we can do, man. Come on, do something. Slow bro. Good artwork. But still regular hollow. Silver borders. I know I said it like two times, but I kind of like it. I really like it. Looking forward to the next upcoming sets to come up. Let's see what we can get here. Squawkabilly. Interesting. Indeedy. Okay. Let's do it. Come on, man. Let's let's get a good goddamn pull. Let's get a good damn pull. Come on, baby. Give me something. Yeah. What can we get? What can we get? Oh, nothing. Wow. This has been a sad day for Pokemon openings, bro. But hey, it is what it is. The hunt will continue because I don't want to give up that easily. Do it. Oh, that's terrible, 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 terrible. But anyway, guys, you know, on the pull, that's okay, that's okay. And I know I'm not really that entertaining, so I'm not that much of a talker or whatnot, at least to myself. But I do enjoy uh, opening up packs, ripping uh, new product, and also keeping sealed product too. Uh, there is one item that I am waiting for in the mail today. It's uh, from the Pokemon Movie 2000. It's uh, the little pack um, the movie cards. I think it comes like three or four cards. I'm not gonna open it, but it is from the very first print. It's the blue stamp one. So uh, I think I got a pretty good deal on it from Macari. So waiting for that one and add that to my sealed collection as well. So my sealed collection is kind of growing. Uh, I'm just trying to get ETBs here, ETBs there. I'm trying to get um, every ETB from the Sword and Shield just so I can have for now. Uh, the only ETB I don't have, I have the booster box, but no ETB is Evolving Skies. Um, I'm pretty sure I have... Nope. The only one I don't have... I mean, it's not really considered an ETB, but I have. I don't have the Pokemon Go Pokemon Center ETB. The, the, the big one. The one that's like 70 hours. That one I don't have. Oh, uh, 64 99 I don't have that one, but GameStop was pretty uh, packed today, but it's still very difficult to find Crown Zenith ETBs in in person. It's a little difficult to find there. Um, but everything else is pretty fair game, and I'm shocked that they're actually selling Shining Fates, which is... I haven't really been seeing that in stores, mostly online, but 
Other than that, the pull rates have been pretty bad lately. I don't know what it is. Maybe they all the reprints they kind of like pull back on the pull rates, and then with this big thing going on where there was like a one million dollar worth of Pokemon cards uh, theft from the Pokemon Company, you know that can take into effect too. Like uh, everything, like the rarities, or just I don't know. Uh, as for the Pokemon community, the people that actually, you know, like spend their, you know, hard-earned money to go and try to, you know, legitimately purchase the items instead of when they go to the store and find out that uh, the store shows that the items are in stock, but they're not in stock because people steal them. Like, yo, dude, really, like, you really gotta be that kind of childish to go and get all to go steal shit. Like, everyone else is working their ass off and they're doing this because they like to do it. Um, some of us make money on it by getting a grade and sell it that way, but I would... I don't want to speak for majority of the community, but I will say my own opinion about the Pokemon community when it comes to collecting the cards is that they do it because it just brings back memory, brings back their childhood, and they really like it. It's very entertaining and just that like thrill, getting the blood uh, pumping when you just actually pull the card yourself instead of buying it like outright. Like yeah, you know you probably save a lot of more money if you buy the card outright in one shot, but. Like, where's the thrill, you know, where's the adrenaline, and like, yes, I pulled it, I pulled the car myself. So, that's what I like. That's, I guess, like, what I like the most is, like, the thrill of the hunt, I guess you would say. So, um, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you stayed this this long, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Just, uh, if possible, just give me a thumbs up, or a subscribe would be a great help. Uh, but thank you very much for your time, guys. Have a good day.